Achievement can come from like a lot of areas, like the family that you're you're brought into, or the area that you're in. So like, if your parents went to university, like did good degrees, or like lawyers, doctors, those kind of like high end jobs, then you're motivated to do well and to like replicate and emulate what they've done. It's easy to emulate that and easy to be focused and stay focused. Culturally, it's a different thing. Like with our parents, um, my heart's be for everybody, but especially like a lot of my friends and stuff. I'm like the first person who's gone to uni. My parents can't really advise me. They don't understand the system. They're kind of learning through me, so it's a new thing. They can't advise me on certain things. And I think you've also got financial pressures. Like, again, like you were mentioning about social class. And what we introduced this year was a mentoring scheme. And it's where people already on the ACS mentor people, um, who are just coming in and I think that's quite interesting because it kind of helps you and it betters you in a lot of way, ways because the people who are, who you are dealing with have already kind of been through what you're about to go through and stuff like that so it helps a lot that somebody is there to help you and that way from that you understand what uni is about. However for me what's important I like this whole bit about the black stereotype I think ACS itself goes against the stereotype because it's black people at university but that needs to be impressed upon the rest of the country like it's not everyone's like it is about helping black people but it's about the African Caribbean culture and other people need to understand that culture and understand how to react to us and be educated about it. So, uh, the success of my ACS is about if it actually achieves its vision and its purpose um, and if that vision and purpose is to promote the culture that you're brought up you're brought up with the culture that you're you've inherited um, that can include partying. You know, like we all like to party, and our parents always send us to study. Like that's education party is part of your culture, yeah. right? But then if if someone feels that because we don't rave as much, um, we're not doing what they want as an ACS, then I they might be in the ACS for the wrong reason. Because I think the ACS is about the betterment of African Caribbean students. It's not about the social life of the African Caribbean student. Yeah, collaboration, because um, they, they um, maintain the interests of all the other audiences you're trying to um, reach out to. And I think you'll find as well that a lot of um, your aims in collaborating with other societies coincide with other societies' um, aims as well. That it's been a good event, and I think you should hold more events like this in the future. And it's also good to see a group of black people under the same roof um, driving towards the same goal of achieving. It's, it has been a good event and I think today's given me, I don't know about Charlene, but it's given me a lot of working points to kind of work towards next year. Like I really do like the lead idea you guys kind of use the mentoring. You might kind of jack that for me. <laughs> that next year because it's a really good idea. The need to have like advice circulated through everyone, not only through your own ACS individually from third years to first years, but through different ACSs. So what worked for you we could probably take on to make ours work because you know it's about the weakest link and stuff and the weakest link will break the chain so if we all work together the ACS could be amazing. Taking ideas from other people shows that the ACS application would be such a good idea because everyone can yeah. see things um, and I think it's important that I like seeing things like this because clearly that like, we are like a generation who have to push things forward all of us are going to be role models and rather than competing with each other we should be supporting each other regardless of what university or background or wherever we come from so I think it's really good to have that support. ACS is need to also remember to appreciate, which is supposed to be our goal in the first place, to appreciate um, Afro-Caribbean culture. I mean, in the past in Leeds, we've done that by having an uh, ACS choir, ACS dance group, and an ACS drama group. I think it's a way forward. Um, I like the stuff we've learned so far. We know where we're lacking, and I hope you guys take stuff from this just as much as we have. Um, I've really enjoyed it a lot. Um, my manifesto, um, that election day to become president. I love the ideas that have all been said and mentioned here, so I know that I'm going the right way in my work, like going in the same direction. So I can see that a couple of years' time, we're going to be a lot more successful. And I think that if I come back to this room in like three years' time, I can see there'll be a lot more progression and a lot more positive things said. Mm -hmm.